lives in you. The Bible says, know you not that you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. No, he is not there. He's here. And he promises that I'll never leave you. He moved from the tomb to your heart. He moved from the tomb to your life. And you have to receive him by faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Somebody say hope. hope. Say it again, hope. hope. How many here know that it is God that give you hope? Yes. It is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. And even though I did not see it, he told Thomas, blessed are they who have not seen and yet believe. And I have not seen it with my natural eye, but I've seen it in my heart. Amen. I've seen it in my spirit. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can tell me. Come on now. Oh, I wish I had somebody here. Yeah. Right. Jesus was born. Yeah. It is the beginning of new Hallelujah. things. Yes. He lived. He died. It was the ending of old things. He was risen the dead. Amen. Yes. It is new life. Yes. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, I came that you might have that life and that you might have it more abundantly. More abundantly. Yes. Put your hands together and give God praise. The Gospel of John says there were so many things that Jesus did that this whole world could not contain all the things that he did. But what he did the most was that he gave his life as a ransom for you. He died so that you could live. And the enemy wants to fight you tooth and nail because he never wants you to understand the fulfillment and the fullness of everything that Jesus did for you. But when Jesus took on the wrath of God, he broke the back of the curse. He destroyed it, the Bible says, because of the anointing, the yoke is destroyed. Not broken, but destroyed. You're not under the curse, but you're under the grace of God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And God wants you to live a full life, a life of righteousness, peace, and joy yes. in the Holy Ghost. Amen. And that's where the battle takes place sometimes because your spirit man knows this, but your mind having a hard time conceiving what it is that God has done for you. But if you would just surrender and present your body a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God and be not conformed to this world but the Bible says be transformed by the renewing of your mind Amen. through the preached word of God Amen. through study, through prayer, through worship Amen. that God begin to show you the realness of his salvation for your life Amen. sometimes we go back into our old ways not because we're not saved but because we're not transformed, we're not renewed in our mind, and we've become defeated in our thinking. That's why we got to come back to the cross, because Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. The Bible says he that began a good work, he's faithful to complete it. Always I have somebody here. If he started it, he could see you all the way through. Hallelujah. He called you to live saved. He called you to live holy. Hallelujah. Today, I just want to just encourage you for your passion to be reignited re again for God, for holiness, and to serve the Lord. How many saved people do I have in this room right now? <laughs> Lift your hands. If you're not saved, hallelujah, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. How many people do I want to be saved? You want to give your life to the Lord today? Lift your hand. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
Come on, give God a hand. Jesus. Yes. 